Blue Muda, Fess Muda. Is it a new thing? Should we all be excited and rush out and do this? Here we have. Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! Ta I learned that a long time ago. I learned that a long time ago. If you actually go back, the first easily available, and I think there were more before this, um, documentation of looking at a combination of bluegrass with um, Bermuda grass or with other warm season grasses was in 1977, Haas published in the Third International Turfgrass Research Conference proceedings about this concept of combining for permanent turf, a cool season and warm season grass. In the 80s, I probably heard more about this and there was quite a bit of work that was done by um, Jack Murray and um, Kevin Morris at the USDA. They were doing more with zoysia grass and um, turf type tall fescue as the combination, um, partially because they were in that Maryland transition zone where at that point in time we did not have Bermuda grasses that were cold tolerant enough, but the zoysia grasses persisted and they found if they got um, each of them, first you had to establish the zoysia, then you put the tall fescue on top of it and you could modify whether one predominated or the other on mowing heights and fertility. So then the next really um, quite extensive publication, which was looking actually at Bermuda grass with many cool season species as um, permanent turf was at um, University of Missouri, Dunn, Minner, um, Friesenberg and Bugara did research and they had traffic put on this. So their, their idea was to look at it both for sports fields and potentially for um, homeowners because they had untreated non-traffic sites also. And they looked at a huge range of um, cool season species to combine with Bermuda grass. They looked at um, Kentucky bluegrass and they used some fairly aggressive ones, P105, no, Touchdown, um, A34, um, Midnight in America. They used perennial ryegrass by itself, Kentucky bluegrass and perennial ryegrass, the whole range of fine fescues. The one thing they didn't add into it was tall fescue because um, they didn't think it was maybe as, as good enough quality back in the early 90s that they included it in this trial. What they found over time was the spring traffic really influenced the Bermuda grasses, and these were cold tolerant Bermuda grasses, um, persistence when they had traffic before they broke dormancy. And the ones that did best were um, the Kentucky bluegrass by itself with Bermuda or Kentucky bluegrass with perennial ryegrass with Bermuda. The problem was is over the three year period of time, they had less and less Bermuda grass in the stand. And this is something we're hearing now about when people are putting um, bluegrass with Bermuda grass is unless you really stress that bluegrass out um, through fertility, through mowing heights, they start to lose the Bermuda grass in the stand very often. And it goes back in some respects when I think about when we do overseeding of perennial ryegrasses, we know that we really want 100 days without that perennial ryegrass on that Bermuda grass to keep it healthy so it comes back the following year. So I think in some of these combinations we have too aggressive of bluegrass or perennial ryegrasses or we haven't quite um, reached the balance point. If you actually look at um, um, research done, there's been continuing research, um, Kansas State, Jack Fry and others have done work with zoysia grass and tall fescue. And I personally know that um, fesmuda can work, what I call fesmuda, which is tall fescue 
with um, Bermuda grass. I planted this 30 years ago at a house I had in California. I sold it to my sister when I moved up here. It is still a stand of tall fescue and Bermuda grass. The tall fescue is the primary part in the shade and in the winter the Bermuda grass is the primary one in the summer. But they're mowing it at a pretty short mowing height so the tall fescue does not over dominate that stand. So is it a concept? It's an interesting concept. There's, you still need to refine management strategies and what are the best cultivars to use in these combinations with zoysia or with tall fescue. And I think it's not a new concept. That's totally busted. Busted. <laughs> these are things that have been around for a very long period of time. But is it an interesting? Yes, it can work. That is confirmed. But being new, busted. We're standing on turf type um, Bermuda grass. Um, this is a breeder block of Bermuda grass. Yes, we can grow Bermuda grass very well in Oregon, believe it or not. Believe it or not.